All right, Thomas, so I just got done with a heated match. All throughout it, though, he kind of got you in a couple different bad spots, got you in his spladel, yeah. Granby, giving you a little different look than you've seen all year. I mean, what, were, what, were your, what was going through your head during, the, I guess, the first spladel in the match? Um, got to stay off my back. It's a funny situation. Um, a few, few years ago, Metcalf got caught there, and it's called the Phantom Pin. I'm not sure if that's a real thing or not, but that's kind of what I was worried about there. I knew I wasn't in trouble getting actually pinned, but maybe you know the Phantom Pin, like Metcalf got pinned by Caldwell at the, the All Star meet there. So it's kind of you know just trying to get out of there as quick as I could because I didn't want the ref to give a quick fall when it you know may or may not have been there. But um, you know, I just had to get gave up four there, and I just had to get myself back in the match. Um, Overall, you know, this tournament, uh, it's, it's been good to you. And uh, thoughts on going back to the finals again here uh, in Edison? Uh, thoughts going forward is I got to score more points. Um, I got a, a tough opponent in the finals. Uh, I wrestled him a lot. I, you know, he's a goer. I'm a goer. And uh, I just got to score a lot of points. Um, I don't really look too much into, oh, it's the finals of the Midlands or it's the Midlands or it's this or that. I got an opponent, he's in my way, I'm going to take him out, and then uh, get back to work. You know, some words after your last match, yeah. pretty hard cross face. I mean, what, you know, what were your thoughts uh, you know, at the, going into the end of that? Well, if you want to be a tough guy, be a tough guy, but be able to back it up to the whole match. Um, you want to be a, a tough guy, uh, do it throughout the match, actually wrestle. I'm not saying the opponent, my opponent didn't wrestle. Uh, his style's a little different than mine. The philosophy's a little bit different. Uh, they, kind of wait for me to make a mistake or reach and then they wrestle you know he laid on his belly for three minutes I had you know three minutes of writing time before he reversed me there at the uh, at the end there so if you want to be a tough guy be a tough guy the whole match don't wait until the last five seconds do a, you know a, a controversial cross face punch and I think I'm not going to say anything you want to take it outside we'll take it outside that's a different man um, but you know I'm not saying anything about yeah. my opponent but be tough be tough came over and he said, you know, keep your head, keep your head. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what he said. Anyways, yeah. he was pointing to his, to his yeah. head, you know, uh, how, uh, how important was that at that point? Or, or you, uh, did you feel like you were in a, a good position to not do anything, you know, dumb and throw, throw uh, a fist? I've matured a lot uh, since my last incident that everyone kind of remembers with the, the slam and then what, what all went on after that in the Missouri Take it to the edge, but I don't go over that edge. Um, if I want to take it over the edge, I may, you know, I might grab the guy and say, "Hey, you want to go outside? We'll finish this." Or, you know, I'm kind of joking, but kind of not. Um, I keep my cool pretty good, uh, especially here at this tournament. Uh, that's the the greatest thing that people would want to see right now, other than me only getting a major. Is they'd love to see me get thrown out of this tournament, and then the next meet, people would love to see that. You know, media and full wrestling be all over that. And yeah, I'm calling those guys out. So. I don't want to give anyone anything to talk about other than me scoring a lot of points. They can't really talk bad about me if I'm scoring a lot of points and I'm keeping my cool. But if I'm not keeping my cool, then there's a lot of things people can say about me. Yeah, you've, you've had falls and tech falls throughout the whole season. This is your first time going to a decision. It's overtime. I mean, um, you know, thoughts on that? Do you, do you see it as a setback or just a, a way to learn? No, not a setback. Um, learning. Like I said, I'm not used to a elusive kind of point like that. I need to get my hands on him quicker and harder. Uh, I mean, the guy didn't want to wrestle. I mean, he laid on his belly. He was gassed, even though he had a little bit in the tank to give me a little cross face there at the end. But um, just got to figure out how to wear those guys down when I can't get my hands on them quite as like I like to. So maybe more low wrist ties, stuff like that. But it's not a setback. Um, I mean, it's a, I, I appreciate a good match. We'll, uh, we'll, Analyze it and move forward, and it's going to make me a better, better wrestler.